So in this video we're going to be talking about section 2.1 in the Active Calculus book. <clears throat> and so we're going to be taking a look at some rules for how to do some differentiation. Um, so in class we'll be um, working on uh, some handouts that will reinforce these rules and so hopefully it'll make it a little bit easier to remember them. Alright, so first off let's just <clears throat> take a look at some special cases. Uh, so for example, suppose that f of x is just a constant. Uh, so it would look something like this, right? Just a horizontal line. Oop, let's see if I can get that. There we go. So if f of x is just a horizontal line, then we said that before that the uh, derivative is the average rate of change of this function and of course if the function is a line it never changes and so in this case then our f prime of x would just be zero. Uh, similarly if f of x is a line right, mx plus b then the derivative is just equal to the slope because again that's our that's our uh, rate of change. Good. Um, next, let's uh, go to the maybe the next hardest uh, parabola. So f of x equals x squared. Uh, so if I use the derivative, um, if the definition of the derivative, then f prime. Whoops. <laughs> let's see if I can get that. Uh, sorry about that. Let's see if I can pause. Okay, so if I take the derivative using our definition, we have the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. And so our f of x here is x squared. So just to do a little bit of work in advance, the f of x plus h is going to be x plus h squared. And so that would be x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Right, so if I put in f of x plus h minus f of x, that's going to be x squared plus uh, 2xh plus h squared, and then I'll have a minus x squared. And so uh, all together then, I'm just adding straight down, I've got 2xh plus h squared. So if I come back to my uh, computation here, the limit as h goes to 0, I now have 2xh plus h squared divided by h in the um, definition there. And so now I can factor an h out of the numerator. And so I'll be left with 2x plus h there. And now we can cancel the h's. And taking the limit, we just get 2x. Good. So therefore, uh, let's summarize what we've shown here. Um, if I build like a little bit of a table here of my functions and my derivatives, if I have a constant, the derivative is 0. If I had mx plus b, right, I would just get m. Um, and then if I have x squared, I would have 2x. Okay, and so similarly, uh, we could build the formula for x cubed, and we would see that it's 3x squared. x to the fourth would give us 4x cubed and so on. And so can we see the pattern in this? So if f of x is equal to x to the n power, then what is f prime of x? Well, you can see the n comes down in front, right, from the exponent. And then we have x to the n minus 1. Good. And so this is called, this is the, the rule for that. That looks like a 2 now. Uh, if f of x is x to the n, f prime of x is n, x to the n minus 1. This is the power rule. The power rule. Good. So, for example, uh, if f of x equals uh, x to the 3 halves power, then f prime of x 
would be just take the 3 halves down front and then we would take 3 halves minus 1 in the, new, in the exponent. So that's 3 halves x to the 1 half. Good. Similarly, if f of x is equal to x to the uh, 5 fourths, say, then f prime of x is equal to 5 fourths x to the 5 fourths minus 1 power. And so that would be 5 fourths x to the, is that 1 fourth? Good. All right. And so this is known as the power rule. And uh, so it's imp an important note here. Important note. Uh, what are power functions? Power functions are functions of the form x to the n. So that means, you know, as an example, you know, x squared, x cubed. You could even have like x to the pi power because pi is a constant, right? You could have uh, x to the one half, stuff like that. You could have x, oops, x to the square root of two is another example. Now those are different, so we want to distinguish between power functions <coughs> and exponential functions. Okay, so exponential functions are of the form a to the x. Okay, so notice that the constant here is in the base. So the constant here is in the base, and the constant for the power function is in the exponent, right? And so examples of exponential functions would be like uh, 2 to the x, uh, 3 to the x, e to the x. Uh, you could even have uh, pi to the x. Right? <clears throat> I'm kind of reversing those. Uh, you could have a uh, square root of 2 to the x, although that's 2 to the 1. Uh, okay, we probably don't have that, but <laughs> oh, that's fine. Uh, okay, so you get the idea. So these functions we want to treat differently than these functions, right? So for power functions, use the power rule. And for these functions, we're going to use an exponential u uh, rule. Use an exponential rule. And that's forthcoming. Good. So I'm going to uh, pause the video here, and when we come back, uh, we'll continue on with our rules.